Wow. They've won two games in a hundred years. I bet they've been waiting for a... Hi. I was just reading the paper. And when I was doing it, if you were listening, I was talking in the present perfect, and I also used the present perfect continuous. Although they can be the same at times, sometimes they have distinctly different meanings. In today's lesson, I'm going to try and teach you what those meanings are. Okay? Let's go to the board. Now, when we talk about the present perfect, what we're basically saying is two events have occurred. Okay? Generally, something has happened and is completed, and then something else happens. And when we say, when we use the perfect condition, not only do we say two things have happened, we say they are connected. There's something joining them together. Now usually, especially the present perfect, one thing starts in the past, and it is connected to the present. Why is this important? Well, we're going to look at the present perfect simple and continuous. They're separate meanings and what they mean when they have a singular meaning, the same meaning. So, let's look at present perfect simple. When we use the present perfect simple, we usually want to talk about how much or how many. Because we're really dealing in the result. What do you mean? Well, something has happened here, yes, and later on there is an effect. Something has happened because of it. So we want to know what is the result from this here. So we're usually dealing with numbers. Okay. So, how many, how much? What do you mean? Well, how many books have you read? Huh? There's a number. Four, five, twenty. How many books have you read? How much money do you have? How much money do you have? Well, let's see. Twenty dollars, thirty dollars. It's a number. So in this case, when we use the present perfect simple form, like I have read four books, I have watched five movies, I have read sixteen pages, we're talking about numbers. I want a number from you. The result. This number shows me result. Cool, yeah? Now let's compare this to the present perfect continuous. When I talk about the continuous form, really, I don't care how many, not the number, but what have you been doing? So you may have read, I have read 10 pages, but then I will ask you, what were you doing at 2 o'clock? And you would say, I have been reading. I have been reading. I'm concerned about the activity, not the number. Okay? So here, we're going to talk about the activity. Now, this is very interesting. Because with a continuous form, I'm concerned about your activity. And with the simple form, I'm concerned about your result. And we are talking about two things. Okay? So this is simple. The continuous would go from here to here. I can do some magic. Want to see? <laughs> Give it up. Magic trick. We're in a different land now, okay? This is where I explain. When the little blue, blue screen comes up, you'll have the knowledge. Promise. All right. Watch. Now remember, I told you two things are connected. If it's continuous form for the present perfect, it goes from one part to another and they're joined. If it's simple, 
one thing affects another. So what's the magic? If you put them together, we talk about when. Okay? So look, we have the activity. What are you doing? We have the results. How many things have you done? But let's just say something. Remember, result has number. So let's just say something like, I have been married for 20 years. There's a number. But did you hear what I said? I have been married for 20 years. That answer tells me how long. You like that? Now, we can't say I have been marrying for 20 years. We can't say that. But we could say I have been waiting for 20 minutes. You might have noticed something. When I said I have been married for 20 years, 20 years is a long time. Well, when I said I've been waiting for 20 minutes, 20 minutes is a short time. This comes to the things we put on the board. Activities don't last forever. They're usually short-lived. So in this case, we would use present perfect continuous. So for short activities, we use the present perfect continuous. I have been waiting 20 minutes. See? Activity short. Okay? So for short times of activity, we use present perfect continuous. But if we believe something has been for a long time, right, the result after a long time, a long work, we would actually use the present perfect simple. I have lived in Canada for 30 years. It's a long time. There's more permanence. To be honest with you, there's another lesson which I'm going to be happy to share with you later. Because it has to do with this right here. Okay? So when we want to talk about a long time and the results, how much, how many, we use that for long time. And that's the present perfect simple. Short time. So to keep it simple, when we want to talk about how long, we have two options. We can use the present perfect simple to, to tell people we've done something for a long time. I have been a mm, long time. If it's a short time, we can use the present perfect continuous. I have been waiting. I have been doing a mm, short time. I hope this has been informative for you. Now, let's look at the board. I want to give you some other more information. If you need to know more, and you will, because there's a reason why we have short and long time, and the perfects mean present perfect continuous, and perfect present perfect simple, there's a reason why they have to deal with time, and it has to do with something here. Now, if you want to know more about this, come to the forum. I'll be happy to explain. Okay? So, forum, you say. What forum? Now, you've confused me enough already. <laughs> well, the forum you can find at www.ingvid, ing as in English, vid, as in video.com. We'll answer more of your questions about the present perfect and its uses, what's so special about the present tense, and any other questions you might have. In fact, not only I, but there are other teachers you can meet and we'll be happy to help you. So come visit us at the website and have a great day. Take care.